All right, we're going to be talking about a beard wash from Damn Yankee Beard Company. Now, he has a couple of beard washes, but I have the eraser, which is supposed to be a more of a stripping beard wash. So here is the bottle. It has, it has a pump top on it and a silver bottle with the ingredients and his logo. So we're going to talk about the prices, ingredients, and how well it performed in my beard. But first, let's go ahead and get into that website real quick. Now, I already have his beard wash co-wash page already up. And now this one first closest to me is the conditioner which is eight ounces for $19.95 and the next one over is the one I got is the eraser for uh, eight ounces for $18.99 and the last one over there is iron line uh, which is also eight ounces for $18.99 which is supposed to be more of a daily beard wash but like I said we have the eraser so we're going to talk about that so let's click on the eraser real quick all right, now here's the page for the waste eraser. Now, like I said, it is eight ounces for $18.99. And let's talk about this little uh, information he has posted on his site here. It says, wipe the slate clean with the eraser. Damn Yankees peppermint tea tree beard wash. Now, there is a scent right there. So it says it's a peppermint tea tree. Uh, all natural soap, which gently removes accumulated product and finishes clean so it won't interfere with other products. Best when you use one to three times per, per week. Now, me personally, I'd only prefer to, to strip my beard uh, once a week and usually do that between uh, testing products. Now, the scent type is essential oils. So we have used essential oils for the scent versus the uh, fragrances. Now, when it comes to the uh, little note right here, it has eraser is a stripping wash intended to remove accumulated product from your beard. Though not harmful to your beard, it is intended for not intended for daily use. Condition your beard thoroughly after use for best results. Now the ingredients are filtered water, extra virgin uh, olive fruit oil, coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, potassium uh, alginate, and essential oil blend. So I'm not sure what the uh, I guess me essential oil blend is talking about the uh, the scent of it, the the peppermint and the tea tree. So, all right, so there is your prices, the sizes, the ingredients, and the scent. So let's talk about the scent real quick. Peppermint tea tree. Now I get that peppermint definitely. That's all, pretty much all I get because uh, peppermint is always predominant in the scent for me. And that's when peppermint is mixed with the scents, other scents as well. Usually I just get the peppermint just because I just, more predominant for me, from my nose. But uh, it's very nice and vigorous scent uh, while you're taking a shower and washing your beard. And uh, it doesn't linger too long afterwards. So that is a good thing because you don't want the scents to interfere with other scents you may put into your beard later. So definitely a uh, good job there. Now, like I said, the eraser is supposed to be more of a stripping wash. Now, for uh, my beard and my results, uh, when I use it the first time, uh, you know, first couple times, um, I didn't feel that it stripped it all that much and maybe this strip some but just not all that much and i think it's because it does not uh having kind of lathering properties i mean the kind of lathers that's a really 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 tiny bit now i prefer washes whether it's going to be a stripping wash or a regular daily wash to be more lathering because actually lather the properties of lathering is actually going to help uh, uh, bring out that that product or any kind of dirt and grind this in your beard out of your beard and be able to wash it away a lot easier think of it this way when you spray on some foaming grease remover onto some grease you see it start foaming and you see that grease popping up out of the out of the you know in the bubbles that is actually trying to remove it out and you'll be able to wipe it away and wash it away a lot easier versus putting some you know liquid soap on the grease and cleaning it that way because that's just going to smear it around a lot longer and I mean, overall, you're going to get clean, but the process is going to be a lot smoother, a lot quicker when it has some foaming properties to it. So I did do a video. I'm going to link that video uh, at the end of this video when I, when I talk about surfactants and their properties and why I think lathering is going to make your beard cleaner and uh, better than that. So I think if it had a little more foaming properties, uh, lathering properties, that it would help actually strip my beard a lot better and a lot easier. So... I'd have to use this really kind of multiple, multiple times to actually strip my beard uh, out. So overall, and like I said, this strip a little bit, but not enough for me to really uh, use it as a stripping wash. Um, but like he said, you know, his thing, it says, you know, one, two, three times a day. So that fact of a really true stripping beard wash, I don't use it 
only once a week and like i said that's going to be between me testing products so overall that's my thoughts if you have any questions, more questions about that and what i think about it, you know please leave those in the comment section below and you know also Jamie Yankee has some really awesome beard products, beard oil, beard butter. I really, really like those products. I do have a video, a review video on that as well, which I also have linked here at the end of the video. So you can check that out as well if you haven't seen that already. So I appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to leave a comment whether you have tried this eraser and what you think about it and or tried his other uh, beard wash or conditioner. Let me know what you think about that as well, although I have not tried it. Uh, I'd like to know what y'all think about it. So... Go ahead and leave a comment and hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I do beard product reviews, tips and tricks, mustache wax reviews, live streaming on uh, 8 p.m. Eastern every Sunday on my channel. So hope to see y'all there. And remember, keep, keep your, your beards and stashes healthy until next video. video.